Hey there Libra, this is Renee and welcome back. Libra, this is going to be your reading for the next 48 hours. Let's take a look and see what's coming, what you can expect in the next 48 hours. This is a timeless reading, so this reading is meant for you when you see this reading, okay? So Libra, let's get some of your energies. What's going on with Libra? As I was meditating on your energy, Libra, I was feeling like there's some sort of change that you're going through. I feel like there's something that you are quite disciplined in. I feel like you have a lot of courage. I feel a lot of strength at the moment. I feel like there's something that you're working on, Libra. Take this how it resonates. But I feel like there's quite a bit of change going on for you. Some kind of change. Okay. Let's take a look at the tarot. Let's see what's going on for Libra. Okay. Okay. We have the Ace of Swords and the Seven of Cups. I feel like there's a lot of thinking going on, Libra. You may have a lot of opportunities, a lot of options. I feel like you're thinking about many different things. I feel like there's a lot of things on your mind. There's a lot of things that you're trying to work through. I'm, I'm sort of getting the energy that there's too many things on your plate. Too many things taking up your time and your thoughts and maybe not enough support that you can look for for help with we have the seven of the six of Pentacles you're definitely looking for some sort of help some sort of balance you feel like you have a lack of support like you're the only one who can finish what needs to be done. I feel like there may be people around you, but I feel like you just don't feel like they can do the job that you can do, Libra. So I feel like you're doing so much. Maybe that's why I was feeling disciplined. You know, I feel like there's some sort of situation to where, you know, you can delegate what you need to delegate so that you can free up some of your time to do something different. To even take time to relax. Um, you definitely have people around you who are there to help. But I feel like you feel like you can do it all on your own. Hmm. Yeah. By doing things on your own too much, Libra, I feel like you're pushing yourself way too far. Something needs to change. Something needs to give. Okay. Okay. Um, I feel like there there needs to be some kind of change going on here, Libra. Um, if you don't want to take advantage of this change I feel like you're going to be at the point where something's got to give okay I feel like you're pushing way too hard you're working way too hard you're focusing way too much on what needs to be done and you could be letting someone else help you in the situation okay I'm feeling like with this horror fence energy I feel like you you feel like there's no one else who's capable of doing what you do and that may be true Libra but I'm feeling like there's people around you okay with this 
Three of Cups energy, Six of Pentacles. There's people around you who want to help so that you don't push yourself to the limits. Because I feel like that's what you're doing with this energy. I feel like you're pushing yourself to the limits. And I feel like there's a lot of people around you who love you and need you. So, Libra. Um, I feel like if you do have the people around you, I feel like they want you to move into this better, relaxing position because I feel like the direction you're going right now, the direction you're going right now is the the tower. Either some things need to be changed or they will be changed. Okay? Um, I feel like it's your choice. And I feel like the people around you who love you want you to move in the direction that's going to be more peaceful for you, more relaxing. You know, not take so many things for granted. Okay? Um, for others of you, I feel like if you're in a situation to where Maybe you are looking for support, looking for help. I feel like help is on the way. Um, if you're open to love, there is love that's available, love that's moving in your direction. Now for that stubborn Libra who wants to do everything on their own without any help, I feel like there needs to be a change. Okay, and I feel like I'm talking to one <laughs> specific Libra. Okay, so, you know, I'm going to apologize ahead of time. But I feel like this message is very specific. Um, for others of you, I feel like there's going to be a lot of change going on. You have opportunities that are opening up. And with this Hierophant's and the lovers so close together I feel like in a relationship things are changing but things are changing for the better I feel like there's more commitment in this relationship I feel like it's moving to the next level okay um, so I'll go ahead and ease up off of that stubborn Libra and I'll get to everyone else's message okay give me some more information for Libra the next 48 hours please more information okay after this change I feel like there's some sort of new beginning some new adventure um, and I feel like this change is bringing about some kind of intentions that are pushing you towards a new path okay uh, you may be changing jobs you may be changing locations but I feel like you're like on this journey of this new path and I feel like you're just in the planning stage okay you're you're just getting ready to plan this adventure but I feel like whatever this is, I feel like it's very um, needed at the moment. I feel like with this Empress energy, whatever this is, you've created this. Look at this. We have the Empress and the Emperor counterparts. So definitely, that may indicate this love. I feel like the Empress and the Emperor, they are like the most significant power couple. So whatever this new beginning is, Libra, I feel like it's like love in motion. Okay? It's a beautiful energy because... It has everything that it needs to succeed. And I feel like it's just at the beginning stages. Okay. Um, 
So now not in this next 48 hours, but with the Hierophant here, the Empress, and the Emperor. This relationship that's building, that's strong, is bound to last. Um, the Hierophant may indicate marriage, some kind of commitment, some kind of spiritual union. Okay, so and I feel like this is something that is meant to be. Something that you or this person was spiritually guided to enter. And I feel like you're in this building phase with this Eight of Pentacles energy. I feel like you're like really getting to know each other. Really trying to develop a sense of what each other likes and dislikes. I feel like there's a lot of need to know each other better, to get to know each other better. Um, I feel like you may be moving with this person or they be, may be moving with you. Okay, but I feel like there's some kind of travel. Um, and I feel like, you know, with this Queen of Pentacles energy, I feel like there's a lot of stability here. There's a lot of... Um, foundation a lot of nurturing support that that may also be you know some kind of financial gain because of the two incomes together if you both are in careers or if you both work but and I feel like this is abundance beyond money this is an abundance of love of fire of passion Okay, we have the, the Queen of Wands at the bottom. So two queens. Two queens. And I feel like you're carrying on these characteristics, Libra. You are feeling more fire, more assertiveness. I feel like you're more active, more, you know, creating new things with this Magician card. There's things that are being created. Okay. And with the Knight of Pentacles, I feel like you're like moving at just the right pace. Okay. Everything is developing right on time. If that makes any sense. I feel like this is... Um, a situation to where you and this person, if you haven't met this person, I feel like you will very, very shortly. This is within 48 hours. So, hey, you may meet them in a coffee shop, some kind of um, interaction. But I feel like there's like automatic chemistry. It's very intense. And it's very beautiful. And with the the high priestess, I feel like there's it's like it starts out as like a mystery that needs to be solved. But I feel like there's a lot of trust. I feel the need to lead. Maybe you're leading this person or they're leading you. Very interesting. Uh, but we have the Page of Pentacles energy. So I feel like it's kind of immature. It's at the beginning stages. So I feel like you are learning to trust this person. Maybe after you've had um, a lot of time in the past with Maybe someone that you couldn't trust. Okay, but I feel like you're actively learning. So I feel like that's where the courage had to come in. That's where that is like evolving. Hmm.
Tell me more about this situation. Please, Spirit, give me more messages for Libra. Okay, we have the devil. This may be a Capricorn that's coming into your life. Could be an Aries. Could be a Pisces. Um, but it doesn't have to be. Uh, but with this devil energy, I feel like there's been a lot of things that you had to deal with in the past, Libra. And I feel like you had to push through these emotions in order not to be confused or obsessed with this tower moment. I feel like you may have just learned the truth that was kind of hard to deal with. Um, you may have just recently went through this tower and you're looking for answers, looking for clarity. So I, I feel like there's maybe you working through the trauma of the past is like giving you reason to go slow at trusting the future okay but I feel like I feel like you you're there you still have faith you still have faith in wherever the universe is leading you okay um, let's see let's get these there's too many to take. <clears throat> Give me an outcome for Libra. Give me an outcome. What is the outcome for the next 48 hours for Libra? Give me an outcome, please. Truth. Breakthrough. communication I feel like you're very curious I feel like you're standing back watching things you're in this like observation you're taking a look watching things happen but I feel like you need information before this action is taken okay but you're like processing but you're also ready to take action ready to stand up ready to fight okay um, I'm not sure what you're fighting for but I feel like you you have this courage this drive this know-how and I feel like there's something that you feel like you need to fight for there's something that you feel like you need to like take the challenge okay what is this challenge tell me more about this challenge spirit what is this what is Libra fighting for happiness you're fighting for your happiness Libra you're fighting to be happy you're fighting to be healed to be recovered um, you're, you're working fearlessly for this new beginning because you want happiness. You want this new beginning to unfold. And what you're fighting for is, it's available to you, Libra. I feel like you have all the ability. Okay? You just need to be, stop being weighed, out, weighed down by these burdens, by all these extra duties that you put on your plate. I feel like you put a lot of extra duties on your plate. You, you have a lot of things that you could definitely delegate to other people, you know. Um, but I feel like you feel the need to carry everything. You feel the need to do it all, to be it all. 
instead of focusing on yourself you focus way too much on other people's needs and you put yourself on the back burner Okay? But it's time to focus on yourself, Libra. It's time for that recovery, that healing. To put yourself first. Take time out. Have that Libra time. Okay? Take a Libra time out. Okay? We have the Three of Pentacles. So definitely, there are other people who have the same skills, who can do the same job to help you. I feel like there's a team here for you to utilize. You know, but I feel like, you know, they're sitting down waiting. Look at this. They're sitting waiting. They're being lazy because you're doing all the work. You're doing everything for everybody while they're just sitting watching you okay so it's time to let other people put in their own efforts so that Libra can have some time to focus on Libra focus on what satisfies Libra okay very interesting reading very very interesting reading okay um, let's get some oracle cards for Libra. Let's get some oracle cards for Libra. Okay, forgiveness. You may need to forgive someone. You may need to forgive yourself in some idea, but there's some kind of forgiveness that needs to be done here. We also have ask your angels. So when you need guidance, when you need help, Ask your angels for guidance. You know, meditate, pray. Um, just be spiritually prayed up. Okay? And we have be assertive. So, you know, very interesting, Libra. But... This is the next 48 hours. I'm going to get one more angel card because I'm led to do that. Okay. We have divine healing. Honor your sensitivity. Retreat to recharge and heal. Your light can support others. Okay. That I, and I feel like that's exactly what you needed to hear. Libra. Honor your sensitivity. Retreat to recharge and heal. Your light can support others. Okay? I, I just had to repeat that for you because it just makes so much sense in this reading. Because I feel like you need to recharge. You need to heal, recover, restore. Okay? Um... And at the bottom we have Divine Alchemy. Move beyond current challenges. Focus on what you desire. Okay? So, Libra, this is the reading that I have for you in the next 48 hours. I feel like it's very specific. It's going to be there for somebody. Okay? Um, so if this reading resonates... Please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. Um, I should have them all up within the beginning of the week. But you can take a look at your March reading. I have all of those uploaded. So take a look at your March reading. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising. Okay? Um... Libra, until your next reading, many blessings, love, and light.